Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines, where planes are converging into one. And our new cargo airport is getting absolutely super crazy busy, as things typically do in New Venturium, where we're always trying to make the maximum profits possible. However, even with this super busy cargo airport, we're not making money. In fact, we're losing money somehow, question mark? And let's be honest, it's probably the giant traffic jam. So we'll be updating our airport significantly here. And also, I want to make a port. So for the longest time, I've had this area all prepared, set up and ready to have this amazing cargo port built here. And today, I really want to get started on it. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. But before we get started, do you see what's going on? We're all looking at screens. A heck of a lot more. You got work from home. You got cell phones. It's crazy out there. And all these screens are producing blue light, which can cause eye strain, hurt your focus, and make it difficult to fall asleep sometimes. And trust me, these things suck because I've been working from home before it was cool. And luckily, GMG Performance sent me these blue light protection glasses. They have a new generation of their Oranos model, which I love. And with them, I have less eye strain. And look, just even as an example, I open up my email. Look at that protection. And if that's not enough for you, here are the glasses reflecting freaking lasers. And there are a ton of different styles to choose from as well. And oh wait, there's a huge 40% off discount running as well for 48 hours. So again, you've got 48 hours to pick up your own pair of blue light protection glasses by clicking on the first link in the description. So pause the video and now let's get back to gaming. Anyway, multiple problems. What the heck is going on? Why are the planes combining together into this horrible amalgamation? That's, stop, stop landing. Look, there's already a plane there. Stop. This, this is not right. Okay, one thing, one meme that might save the day here is maybe there is a solution that's really simple. Just adding in a control tower. Like, I, I thought it was just a decorative thing, but maybe it actually has an actual function. It's $65,000. It must have a function, right? It must. Jeez, that is like the most expensive thing ever. Anyway, we'll have that there as a test to see if the planes will stop crashing into each other. That would be splendid. Next, traffic. It's so colorful, it's so pretty. But it's also losing us money. Money shouldn't be on the roads. Money should be in our pockets. Jeez, dude. Literally no chill. Okay, but we might have a Hail Mary solution to this. All the traffic is just trying to go to one or two airport stands here. So what if we make everything a lot less convenient for all the vehicles? Huh? Sometimes this works. What if this road just isn't there? Oh no. Now they have to choose between the airport stands to go to. Aha! Uh -huh. See these guys will have to go into these ones. The ones that go over this way have to go into that one, etc. And that might just work. Admittedly, it doesn't look super pretty, but I have uh, high hopes. Now we just have to wait for all the vehicles to despawn. Or we can press the money go away button. Yeah, we're gonna press the money go away button. My time is far more valuable. So goodbye, half a million dollars. <laughs> and now let's see if this all works properly. It might, it might. Well, I guess with anything, it's 50-50. It might or might not. But getting started, it's looking pretty good. Half the traffic is now split up between these cargo ports and these ones. So that's, that's awesome. All these vehicles are still only going to these two, which, sure, whatever. But at least these ones are being used now. And it looks like this cargo port is being used to unload planes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> now will the traffic back up and destroy the city again? Hmm, of course it will. And the planes are all combining again as well. Great, just downright splendid. Good job, control tower. Nice job controlling literally nothing. Dang, this is actually kind of unfortunate. I, I thought this would work. But then they're like, hey, this is now the closest airport place. And now this is getting all the traffic. Frustrating. We are making a lot more money though. So it is technically more efficient, I think. But still, not efficient enough. 
maybe we should do something drastic. Just really quick. And you know, quickly allow for some extraterrestrial landings. Resident oh, do meteors have landing wheels? Oh, that's not the runway, sir. Oh, no! <laughs> the easiest way to solve traffic problems in city skylines, let me tell you. It's just too convenient. Just let nature handle things, man. Well, that was fun. Time for a redesign. And we're just going to kind of boop through a couple designs here. Uh, this first one here, what I was trying to do was I tried to put all the cargo stands in a row, and I thought maybe that would help the AI and utilize more of the lanes. Uh, no, that is not the case. Only these two or three are getting used. And yeah, no, it, it's been a complete failure. <laughs> the planes are stacking up as well. I tried adding more exit taxiways so all of the runways could be used. And yeah, just nothing worked here. So let's quickly go back to the original design here. It was kind of working, and now I think it's gonna be working a lot better because I fixed the taxiways this time. So each little section here has its own taxiway, and each taxiway goes to its own designated runway. And I don't know how the AI works, but I'm thinking that since these cargo stands were all connected to all of the runways, the AI was seeing these as the only viable option for vehicles and traffic and stuff. So now, with everything separated, it would seem that the traffic is deciding to go to multiple cargo stands, which is good. Um, this is not like confirmed. I don't know if this is actually properly working, but it would seem so. Maybe just because of the more efficient design with the taxiways, the planes are moving along better. And maybe that's causing everything to work better? I I'm not sure. But early results are looking pretty good. We got a lot of traffic, but <laughs> come on. There's gonna be some traffic. So you know what? I'm gonna say this is good for now and just clean it up. There we go. Much better. So I shrunk the airport down a little bit too. The plane traffic is still, you know, mm -hmm. But the traffic traffic over here is looking great. It's been looking great for a while here too. Like, while I was rebuilding the whole place, the traffic hasn't really built up, at least to the main highway, yet. So we're gonna call this good. Which means we're gonna move on to our next project, our cargo ports. So, oh man, if we've learned anything over the course of this playthrough, we're gonna need some space, bud. A lot of space. We're gonna have roads everywhere. We're gonna have lineups. We're gonna have highways. We're gonna have trains probably and a lot more so let's flatten this area out let's give it a is it a quay or a key it i think it's a key Yo, english is a weird language man anyway i have a key there and then since this is a port area it has to have some weird indent shape this is just the law i i didn't make the law it just is okay so we will randomly indent here and then go this way and turn into there wonderful so how many cargo ports can we have here? What do we even really do with them? We made a couple before, but it was a long, long ago in a video from back in the day. Cargo hub accepts train and harbor traffic. Perfect. Okay. So we probably want a couple of them then. So one, two, three should be good. Yeah, because we're going to have to get the train station or train tracks scooting around. Probably connected up to here. Okay. That seems pretty good. Oh! Also, the main reason why I wanted to do this is because we have all these unique factories, we're missing one. This whole time, we've been missing the coolest unique factory, in my opinion, the shipyard. It's over half a million dollars, but dude, it's so cool. Look at this bad boy. And I'm pretty sure there's actually like ships built and there's a whole animation and all the nine yards. It got the cranes. Ah, oh, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, you know, oh, dude, what'd be even more cool is if we made like a little indent here for it. Also, I'm pretty sure by deleting that I just wasted like $200,000. Whoops! Happens. Uh, let's do this and add in another key. Okay, and let's put that in there. And that's like the general idea. <laughs> very, very general. Let me clean it up though. There we go. Much better. We got that in its little cubby. These all spread out. Lines are straight looking fantastic. So let's make it work. Highways. We got lots of connections, so... That's gonna be really nice. But we know that traffic is gonna be crazy. We made this train station hub and <laughs> it is 
permanently had insane traffic. So that is what I'm expecting over here. So let's get the four lane highways out right off the bat. And we're gonna use warehouses to try and keep the traffic under control. Because a few videos ago, we're messing around with warehouses and it's a super good idea to have like big warehouses next to cargo ports of any kind. Oh man, and another amazing idea that I just wish I had always done in every other project is leaving a space in between highways like this because oh, future kids is going to be so happy because what we can do is have like an extra lane in here and we are going to need that. Absolutely. Stuff's going to get crazy. So as I was mentioning though, we want to have warehouses near these cargo hubs. So what's going to happen is we're going to have some kind of weird intersection or interchange here and it's going to divert a lot of the highway traffic up over this way. And then we're going to hide those warehouses up here. And we're going to have every single material in the game stored over here. Oh, and also I'll fix the lines, don't worry. Okay, actually I gotta fix that like right now, it's bugging me a lot. Much better. We'll focus on the interchanges later. Maybe I'll just boot them in. You know how they work. So, all the highway traffic will enter through this way. And then we need a warehouse for every single material. How many materials are there in the game? So if we go to the industries tab, forestry has the trees, like raw material, and then paper and planned lumber, and then it goes to unique. So unique we don't need to worry about, but if forestry has three things here, farming has three things here, yeah, this three things, and this three things, we're gonna need 12 warehouses. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit tricky. I think we have a medium warehouse though, or a small warehouse. Do we really need a medium warehouse? I don't think so. We're gonna try this out with just small warehouses. So that'll be two and three. And then we have to have this four times. Excellent. And warehouse wise, we know we make the most oil out of anything in our city. So we're gonna have the oil way back here. So it doesn't clog up all the other lanes because <laughs> it probably will. So that's gonna be the raw oil, plastic, and then petroleum. Now we just do that with every other resource. Okay, now things are gonna get spooky. There's a very specific reason why there are three cargo ports here. What I wanted to do with these warehouses is I wanna have two of these lines combine, and the other two over here combine as well. Might be able to imagine what I'm doing. These two warehouses, so all these products, will have their own cargo port over this way. So very basically something like that. And these two will have the same thing. We organize the road so they're a bit more efficient later on. I'm seriously hoping that this keeps everything under control. But then, I'm gonna screw it all up. Are you ready? So this main highway where everything's coming in, well, we're just gonna have one turn off that goes directly to its own cargo hub. And that, well, I'm thinking we'll get like the runoff traffic over there or something. Ugh. You see, the problem is probably all the traffic from the entire city is just going to descend upon this one cargo hub because it's gonna be theoretically, like driving wise, the closest one to everything. Because if all the vehicles wanna go to these other ones, we're gonna have to drive through this whole debacle. But maybe that won't happen. I'm excited to find out. And also, it really doesn't matter because any first version of any road layouts I ever do have to be revised heavily, so, you know. Might as well find out and see what happens. Anyway, nothing much has actually happened here. It's just all of the extra roads and overpasses have been added in, so all vehicles can go in all directions. Some extra exits were made. Say someone was just going to the warehouse and they wanted to go to the highway. Well, now they can go out here. And look! The space in between! came in so handy. <laughs> Extremely handy, except that's probably a little dangerous. Let's just have that over there, thank you very much. Uh-huh, then there's a couple exits for the cargo ports to get back to the highway as well. Okay, oh, and trains were added in too. Well, that wasn't super difficult. But now, disaster shall strike. Regardless of anything, we have requested every industrial product in the world to one location. Prepare yourselves for Armageddon. You see all those boxes there? Yeah, that's trucks that want to deliver stuff somewhere and a space just opened up. It's going to be a disaster. 
an absolute disaster. Let's look at the swarm. Trucks are like, oh, we can take products somewhere? Money to be delivered? Go, clog up every single lane. Thank goodness for this extra highway too. Oh yeah, deliver the goods, the money. Oh my gosh. And first critical issue. Where are these trucks gonna go? They're gonna go this way. Then they're gonna go through the busy industrial area through all these roads. And I don't even know how they're gonna get over there to be honest. Let's give them their own special highway. They're gonna need it. Okay, there we go. Just skips over this entire industrial area and they can scoot that way. That should ease things up a bit or at least make this more efficient. A couple more lanes would be nice too. Like, you know, having two lanes, maybe even three. Kind of excessive, but whatever. And we'll even do your guys' precious lane mathematics, which forces a turning lane. And you know, for giggles, speed limits, yeah, we're just gonna completely ignore those. Goodbye, have fun, trucks. And so far, so good. Building is turned off, yep, it's time. Let's turn them on. I wanted to give it one second so that vehicles could cycle into here first, but now with those on as well, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I thought that plane was an asteroid, by the way. It's like, what? Not right now, please. Let's see how bad this ends up. We have a highway scooting through this way over to this cargo port. This one is gonna be a problem, if anything. 100%. Oh, and I didn't connect the roads up to the shipyard. Whoops. Eh, that's okay. We might move the shipyard, actually. This is mission critical. We need this all to work. But it's already getting a little, a little spicy. And then two seconds later, in a surprise to no one, the entire system has collapsed. Go figure, all the traffic's like, oh hey, look, this cargo port's technically the closest. So now it's going off to the highway, everything's going wrong. Over here, it's again, a bit of a disaster. I think I can fix this pretty easily though. You know, taking away speed limits, generally a good idea. Who needs them? Right, <laughs> so that'll help. But no, let, let's look over what's going on. Uh, let's just get rid of this cargo port. We'll turn it off. Maybe we'll incorporate it somehow some other way, but right now, can't happen. Now, what else could really help with the traffic? Well, number one, a lot of these oil trucks are probably just going through this whole area because they wanna scoot across a bridge and get to the port. So why don't we just help them out a little bit, you know? Instead of entering through all of this, there's this bridge here. What if you just scoot to there? This highway goes into there, better. And then next, this will come out this way and we will split this up between these two inbound bridges. That should work out pretty well. Now the oil trucks can just go to both of these whenever they want or to the storage over here. Mainly just whatever I can do to, <laughs> to just deal with the oil is what I'll do. Oil is always a spooky nightmare. What's going on over here? A little bit of traffic, but I'm actually not too worried about that right now. Where else have we had problems? It's really just down here, eh? Let's move this a tiny bit. And instead of just having a road, although it has infinite speed, it would be better as a highway. Let's just upgrade the whole thing here. Let's get rid of this, and let's have this as a curve. It can help the vehicles navigate a bit faster. And then, Oh, we should definitely have this be three lanes. Yeah, 100%. Because then, this is immediately turned into a turning lane. Or at least it can act as one. And hey, we can even use the traffic manager to force it to be a turning lane. Now that is a fantastic idea. And you know, honestly, I think those are the main changes. I don't know what else we'd really have to do here. Maybe just a bit of tinkering with the traffic president mod and some of these interchanges and we'll be good to go. And astonishingly, it was actually that simple. It's good, traffic is great. It's backed up a little bit, sure, but all things considered, things are moving and grooving. Just had to add in a little bit of road infrastructure so the garbage trucks can go to and from these areas. That's fine. Maybe a fire station would help a little bit. Throw that in there and everything's working perfectly. I've even re-added the highway that goes over to this cargo hub. The secret I found is just having a bit of a queue line so the traffic doesn't block off any other interchanges. So like if the traffic was going through into this, it causes like multiple disasters. And I guess it's important just to accept 
an amount of traffic. Like this, although it's not the best, it's working. And look, we got ships for days. We have a dang near fleet of them, actually. It's <laughs> it's crazy. We got like three over there, another three here. It's great. The trains have been working well too. They just kind of scoot over this way, over to here, and split off into here. It's a not the most efficient design because a train that enters from here and wants to go to here has to pass through an extra cargo hub. But it's been working so far, so I'm not gonna complain. The only other thing we really have to deal with is making our own ships now in the shipyard. And unfortunately, it made zero sense having it over there and behind all this traffic, so I moved it over here. And now it's connected to the rest of our industry buildings. And look, we're building a cruise ship. Isn't that so cool? Let's see, like inside it, it gets like a million parts. It's awesome. I love this. Love it. And it makes us a ton of money. If we can make this more efficient, dude, we can make, man, $30,000 a week from this one factory alone, probably. In fact, hey, look at that. We're already making over half a million dollars every week. Let's go. Oh, look at our cruise ship. Our first one. We're doing it. Yeah, everything's worked out today. So you know what, I think that's gonna be all. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want more content, I'm playing this game called Infraspace, which is like City Skylines, but in the future. Or if you just want more City Skylines, I have like 16 episodes in this playlist now, which is in the description as well. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.